Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the Kensington Trackball Mouse, which is something I've been using for a long time now, many, many years, probably getting on for 20 years, nearly. When the first came on the computer, you know, there was only really mice available and uh, I didn't get on very well with them because I don't, I don't have any finger movement. So uh, trying to use a mouse is, is a real pain. But then I discovered trackballs and, and I discovered the Kensington trackball. The first one was slightly different to this and then this is more modern. I, I, I think this is, still, this is still available, the one I'm using at the moment. It's a, it's a USB, plug straight into the USB. Um, and it's got four buttons and it's got a, also got a ring on the outside which enables you to scroll up and down the page but I tend not to use that. That's probably more for people who have got finger movement but what I want to talk about is the buttons and how you can program them all to suit your needs. So I'll just very quickly show you what you can do with the trackball. Um, Let's say uh, you wanted to move an icon. Normally you would have to hold down the left button on the mouse. Or is it the right button? I'm not sure now. But you know, you know the button. You'd have to hold it down to drag anything. On, on the, on the um, Kensington trackball mouse, all you do is you can program one of the buttons to act as a drag. So you just do that, you see. So I'm doing that with one hand. If you watch my finger here, press down on there and I can drag it like that however I'm not using uh, I'm using the the, the uh, settings built into um, Windows 10 for that function I'll show you that and then I'll show you a program that you can use to get the same function right so we go into mouse and then go to additional mouse options this little box will pop up and one of the little boxes is turn on click lock now if you switch this on and you can set it if you go into settings you can set how short so that basically means how long you have to hold the left key down in order to get the, the lock to work so if it's very very long it means you have to hold the button down for a long time i keep it fairly short so it enables me to move the box around around there, you see? It's absolutely perfect, brilliant. And I tend to use that for everything, and that, that, that works for me. But if you wanted to, you could download a program called Kensington Works. This is free, so available free off the Kensington website. I'll provide a link in, my, in the description. Uh, and this is what you get and this is the you, you'll get a diagram of your mouse uh, and then and it'll give you it'll come with a default setting and but you can change all these so at the moment I've got the left button is my left click and the right button right is my right click so if I click on the right button I I, I get some um, let me just close this a minute I'll get the right button like that coming up click on the right one and then on the uh, left button, it's just my normal click button. But let's say I wanted to drag, I wanted to create, I wanted to change one of the buttons so it would drag. What you do is you click on there, and then over here, what you do is you click on left drag, the button here that comes up. And when you click save, so let's, let's say I wanted to drag this icon, you just, then you just put, you, if you see here, left drag corresponds to this top left hand button up here. Right. If if I go here, right, I'll show you. I put my I press my button my finger on the button, keep it pressed down momentarily, and I can drag. However, I've just programmed the left the top left button to do exactly the same function, but I don't need to hold the button down. All I need to do just click it once, he says. There we go. Click it once, and um, there we are. We have the drag, the drag button. And you can program that any way you like. If you wanted it over here, 
It'll be right drag over there. So you can, have, you can put it over there if you want. And go there. Depending, you know, cause it, depending on what good way, where you have the mouse on the left or right hand side of you. If you have a finger or a, a preference to where, you, you know, it's more comfortable for you. So now, if I click on the right one, like so. I'll try that again. There we go. Drags it like that. And that's the right. So that that's there's all sorts of um, configurations you can have here. So you just choose your choose your preference to it, and um, and and that'll be perfect. And 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 it really comes in handy. I use it. Um, let me close this a minute. What's happened here? <clears throat> Something's happened. What's happened? There we are. <laughs> Nearly ruined the video then. Let's try that. Right. Let's go to paint. So, um, I'm going to uh, paint with Paint 3D. I use this a lot. And this is where the drag function comes in really handy. So let's, um, let's open up a photo. Let's choose one. Let's choose one of a mini I've got here. So um, let's uh, let's say we wanted to do shapes. So let's say we wanted to. I was going to choose one of these. This will work with all of these, but let's say we wanted to choose an arrow. So I want to point to something. So there we are. I've got the arrow. Now, if you just had a normal mouse, you'd have to struggle to hold it down. But but with uh, this, all you do, click once. I'll try that again. There you go. Click once, and you've got your your drag function. Click again to turn it off. I want to. If you want to turn the arrow around, click again and turn it around like that. So if you want to point it down there, and then again you want to move it, so you do that. Click again. It seems to like it. That's why I prefer to use my method. There you go. And that's just using one hand. No need to try and hold two buttons down at once. Just do that. So we do that and click like that. So just to go back. So I've got um, Kensington Works app on my computer. So like I said, you just if you want to program the each button, you just go in there and you. You choose your button you want to program, click on it like that, and then you can just do that. Click save. I'm not going to go into any of the other controls because I don't use them. I don't need them. This works for me. So that's how you pro how you can program your Kensington trackball mouse. Um, you can either use the click function that comes with Windows 10. Or I think it comes with Windows 7 as well, actually. Or you can download the Kensington app and use that. To, and and you, then you can program all your buttons. So I hope, the, uh, hope that helped and I hope you found that uh, interesting. Cheers for now, guys.